Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Today we're heading to the Eastern Front for some late war bolt action. So a special game tonight as we're having a brand new player visiting the Nerd Cave for the first time. Uh, his name's Ryan. He's somewhat inexperienced with bolt action. I think he says he has five or six games under his belt. So it's still relatively new to him. So he's coming here to get some experience and uh, check out the Nerd Cave and play a game with us. So should be fun. So we're going to kind of build this as a beginner's game. It's not exactly a teaching game as he knows the rules and it's not a learning game either so we'll call it a beginner's game so we're gonna have ryan uh playing his soviets against the germans and andre's supposed to be here as well so he'll play the germans and i'll uh i'll lend whatever uh advice i can to ryan for whatever that's worth uh during the game to try to help him out so um let's go ahead and dive into the briefing so the map we're using tonight is the Valley by Cigar Box Battle, one of our favorite maps. It's got to, it's very vibrant. Uh, it's got a lot of unique stuff on it, roads, fields, rivers, super cool. So if you want to get one of these, uh, check out the description. As far as game terrain goes, so we're going to have uh, some fences. So we're going to start off with these high fences here. So these are going to block line of sight within four inches. Soft cover, there's some around here. There's some around this building here, and there's a few over here as well. Oh, and then in that back corner there. Then we're going to have this type of fence. These are going to be soft cover. Uh, do not block line of sight. And we have some stone walls over here in the village. These are going to be hard cover. Do not block line of sight. As far as trees, we're going to have an orchard here. This will block line of sight. Um, so that will be dense terrain as well as this. Those woods there and these woods here. Uh, all the buildings are going to be soft cover. And then we have just some patches of grass here, which are going to be soft cover as well. And the river is not going to do anything in this game. It's a very low flow time of year for the river, so it's just going to be for looks. And I think that's it for the terrain. So the mission tonight is going to be key positions from the rule book. So we're going to keep it simple. We didn't want to do a attack and defend mission with Ryan. We wanted to either do a kill point mission or an objective mission, objective based mission. So we're going with key positions. So in this one, there's going to be D3 plus two objectives. And those are going to be placed by the players uh, before anyone picks a side or anything. So no one knows um, what side they're starting on. So there's not really an advantage to placing them in a certain position. So those are going to be 12 inches apart, I believe, is the only rule for those. And then they'll roll off to see who gets what table edge. And then they'll take their force and they will decide who's coming in first wave. They can leave up to half their force in reserve. And the objective is to capture the most objectives. And to capture an objective, you have to have an infantry or artillery within three inches of it at the end of the game. And no enemy infantry or artillery within three inches, or they will contest it. So that is the mission key objectives. Very simple. Let's go ahead and look at the forces. Starting with the German force. So this is going to be a thousand point game. We're using the gen generic reinforced platoon selector with no other limits. Uh, this is 998 points with nine order dice. So the idea here is to try to keep it sort of friendly for a beginner, but not super friendly. I don't know. That was the idea. I don't know how it's going to play out. We'll find out. But anyway, so in charge here, we have uh, Lieutenant Vesterman, and he is a SS Lieutenant, second Lieutenant. And they have the blind obedience rule, which means they don't get the extra dice for the snap two. But they are veteran fanatics, I believe. And then we have two squads of fanatical veteran SS, nine men, four rifles, four assault rifles, SMG NCO, and two Panzerfausts. Then we have one uh, full strength regular 10 man unit of grenadiers, their uh, machine gun, the rest are rifles, SMG sergeant, and two Panzerfausts. Moving over here, we have a veteran uh, light howitzer. Just because I have one painted up for SS, I know it's not optimal, you know, competitive, whatever, but we're using it. So there it is. And then um, a regular motor with spotter, medium motor, two Wobble Blitz trucks, both with machine guns. And then rounding it out, we have a Hetzer, uh, anti or t Hetzer tank destroyer, regular. And that is it. So uh, Ryan, uh, he's bringing his own force. So he's got a fully painted Soviet army he's been dying to use, and we are going to use it tonight. So when he gets here, I'll have him go over it. All right, so Ryan's here. So this is Ryan. He lives uh, just 10 miles down the road from me. And tell us your brief 
uh, history of bolt action? Uh, I've been playing for just a couple months. Um, I feel like I've been painting through these things a lot longer than that, but finally got them on the table now, painted, and um, I'm playing the Red Army. Cool. My All right. So we'll take a look at uh, Ryan's Army in a minute, but first Andre has something that he wants to show us that more projects that Andre has made. So he's framed a couple of awesome original uh, newspapers from back in the day. Some stuff my dad collected when he was a little boy and kept tucked away in a trunk for ever and ever. So yeah. pulled them out and threw some frames around them. And uh, we're we're a little shy on uh, wall space, yeah. here, but maybe we can. We'll, we'll figure Actually, something I'm out. I'm thinking maybe right uh, like that. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Travis will have to make a call. We'll figure it out. But anyway, so uh, this is Ryan here. This is his first game here in the Nerd Cave. So uh, welcome Ryan, and we'll take a look at his force uh, right now. All right, so here is Ryan's 1,000 point Soviet force. <laughs> it's a lot to remember here. I got the uh, junior lieutenant. Mm -hmm. He's got, this guy drifted over. He's got two um, regular riflemen to accompany him. Okay. I've got over here uh, just infantry squad. Um, it's going to be regular unless it is my, uh, we can assume they're always regular unless it is my uh, free infantry squad. Okay. Um, so we've got our officer with, uh, we've got an SMG, some rifles in there as well. We've got my KB2. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> we take it for a test run. I have another infantry squad, um, mostly rifles, but we do have one uh, light machine gun. Okay. Got a mortar squad with a, an observer, and then we've got uh, my paratrooper squad, which is a little bit more decked out with a few SMGs. Nice. They've also got a light machine gun. They're uh, veterans, or they are regular. Okay. Yeah, um, and then I've got a medium machine gun team down here. Got a sniper squad and an anti tank rifle squad, and then these are my freebies. The um, got uh, an officer accompanied by 11, there should be 11 here, I'll have to double check, yeah. looks like 11, uh, riflemen, and they're all inexperienced, so. Cool, all right, so that's uh, 1,000 points exactly, or? It's like 997 or something like cool. that, so. All right, so that's his horse, and we'll go ahead and get started. So Ryan's gonna be the bag man, he's gonna leave his paratroopers in reserve? Yep. Regular reserve or outflank? Um, Hmm, good question. We'll let him think about that. Andre's going to yeah. leave anything? I'm actually going all in. All in, okay. So, um, well, go ahead and pull the first die. Okay. So, Ryan will be the bag man. Inaugural bag man. And it's German. a German die. All right. Andre brought his mortar in right here. And we did deploy, we forgot to deploy our forward deploying units, snipers, spotters for the first wave so we did that and uh, the Ryan sniper deployed inside the orchard his mortar spotter is inside the church with a window on each side and then Andre's mortar spotter is deployed in these trees here but nobody can see him no one can see him so we might forget he's, he's there good. Uh, he's that good so Andre's so solely relying on his mortar spotter for line of sight for his mortar okay so next die Another again. German die. Andre has brought in his regular squad here. Uh, Grenadier's machine gun. Next die. Germans again. Germans again. Hmm. Did we put the Russian dice in there? I think so. Okay. Yeah, they're in there. <laughs> Andre's brought a uh, truck in. And this has an SS squad plus Lieutenant Vesterman. So they're over here on Andre's left flank. Next die. Yes. All right. So Russians. So Ryan has uh, run a regular squad of infantry with all rifles and an SMG sergeant up into that grass there. Next day. Soviet More Soviet. Soviets. He's brought another squad in. This is a squad mostly of SMGs, uh, just kind of up there in that uh, courtyard area. Next day. Germans. Germans again. I will Andre, this truck ran. So I did not know that. But uh, So he put one of the occupants down. That looks like six inches to you, Travis? No, they got a 12 inch. The oh, truck's a 12 oh. inch advance. Do you want to rethink your, no. your move? Because you no. could run 24. 
Your hand I'm left. His hand no, left I did not okay. want to be out in the middle of the board <laughs> like that. Okay. Uh, All right, without next any, <laughs> any Russians on the board. Thank you for the offer. <laughs> Yeah. Are you sure that KV2 can come in and do something? Another German die. Put uh, the rest of the occupants of the truck down. It's got to be a Soviet die this time. Yep. Soviets. All right, Ryan's brought his mortar in. Uh, in there in the woods, he was able to advance into the woods. So he, he has line of sight out. So next die. Uh, Me again. Uh, the AT rifle has run on here onto, what's that, Ryan's right flank. And he's got a nice target over here behind the trees if you can get to it. Next day. Let's see. Me again. So and the last squad of regular infantry guys, one of the LMG, is running in over here on the left. The so next die. Go. Oh my Another gosh, Soviet man. die. So he's got his KV-2, his Maxim, his free squad, and his officer left. And that's it. And the Soviet officer has come in there kind of in between those two squads behind the house the next day. Oh, the Germans. <laughs> God <damn it. laughs> So the Maxim machine gun has run in. I think he's run too far though. Remember he can only go 12. Let me make sure that. Good. I'm pretty sure I got it. Oh, I thought the other guys had run on 12. Is that okay? No. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you're good. good. So the Maxim, is, uh, the Maxim is running up there. And he's facing this way. Covering the road down this way, so next day. Ah, Germans. Germans. Whew, Are you confused? <laughs> I messed up. That's so, my job. Andre's put the other SS squad that's in the other truck down. So next day. <laughs> I was confused. I thought he was not going to bring them in, but they're coming in on truck. Uh, another German dice. And then here comes. Andre's brought his uh, veteran light howitzer in here uh, behind the grass. Looking up the, the over here. Ben, leave that. <laughs> Sorry, Ben's getting into Ryan's He's stuff not. over here. He smells, did you bring food? Cause he, no. Okay. He smells Why food. not? Not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> Must have food. Yeah. All right, next time. All right. He's just checking. Double checking there's no Scoping. food Scoping. Okay. Soviets. Sorry. Free and experienced squad has now entered the game. Over here behind the orchard. On the right flank, next day. Soviets. So he's only got one thing left, and that's the KV-2, because his uh, paratroopers are in reserve. So we'll see where the tank comes in. KV-2 is rumbled on to the right flank as well. And that's it for um, Ryan's stuff. He's done deploying everything, and Andre's got his Hetzer and a truck. So there should be two dice left in there, I think. Just take... Are they, is there, are they both his? No, there, there's actually... Oh, there's one that's your uh, reserves. Reserves. So you have one extra dice in there, huh? Yep. Okay, we'll figure it out. But yep. what, uh, Andre will bring something in while we're, while we're thinking about this. So, so Andre's brought the truck with the down SS squad in it uh, up along his far right flank, crashed through the fence. Next die. So there's two left. One of them is the sniper we figured out, who hasn't activated yet. Hey! So he can activate his sniper. Yeah, he might as well take a shot at something. So the uh, sniper's taking a shot at Andre's spotter. Needing a three. Okay, he got it. Needing a four to kill him. I don't know why I grabbed another dice, but that works. Oh, he's dead. Headshot. Two fives take down the... Das Vidanya. The mortar spotter. spotter. So now the mortar is back here with... He's going to have to move. Nah. Doesn't have to move. <laughs> I guess he doesn't have to. You can just save them for reserves and run up and get the, uh, so there's one dice left. Yeah, true. Which is Andre's. Okay, what'll it be? It's going to be the no, Hetzer. There's actually more than one. Oh, that, the other one's your, uh, your reserves. You can just so they can set it aside. Go so down. Uh, they go down. Yep, and then the, the Soviet dice. So the Hetzer has rolled on here, and he is going to fire at that squad in the open there. So the cover is closer to us than them, which means they don't get the cover. House rule. We just had to explain that to Ryan. How so, many uh, uh, and the shots on that gun German is machine gun? Six shots. Six. Six shots. All right. Okay. So you uh, move right in here. Uh, let's roll it over here. Okay. So moved and long range for 
They're within 36, right? So that's half a 72. <laughs> uh, actually, that looks like it's getting cold. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here. So it's not long range for the gun, but it is long range for the machine guns. Okay. So fours and fives. It hits with the main gun, and it gets two with the machine gun. So we'll sort it out. <laughs> so nice and bunched up like uh, inexperienced Soviet soldiers would normally be. So Which the two too bad because they're actually not inexperienced. They're regulars. They should know better. But they should know better. They've been in the army for fourteen hours. Now. <laughs> so that's uh, six days, seven days, seven. Yeah, seven hits with the two-inch template, needing anything but. Oh wow, a butt. So yeah, six dead. Magic. All right, and then you got one with the machine gun. It's going to need four. So what's that? Seven dead. Six uh, dead from the uh, cannon and one dead from the machine gun. Is that the whole squad? No, yeah, there's, there's a the guy squad. left. There is? Wait. Yeah, you got four, eight oh yeah, three. Who do I want to keep? <laughs> keep your NCO. Yeah, there. let's keep the NCO. <laughs> and then Andre get D2. Where did everybody go? <laughs> He's going to be severely traumatized. D2 that pins, one. Andre. Two pins. Two so you got to pass a two pin morale test. Okay. So use regulars, right? So nine, so eight, so you need seven or less. Or, oh, okay. rolled an 11. Yeah, he's, he's very gone. traumatized. He runs off the board screaming. Oh, Probably no, get shot by a commissar. Yeah, he gets... he's going <laughs> to have to answer for that one. All right, the Hetzer. Okay, we got two kill shots. Uh, Andre lost his spotter. Actually, I'm like, yeah, everything is uh, killed so far. And I think that's it for turn one. So we'll uh, go ahead and pick them up and move on to turn two. There we go, turn two. So Ryan's worried about this squad now because the Hetzer can draw a line of sight if he just pivots. I'm actually worried about everybody. <laughs> And you got that. a KV-2 on the board, in case okay. Soviet die. Yeah. And the inexperienced squad has run around the outside of the orchard. So dense terrain again for this game. So he's out of line of sight for everything this way, but he could be in line of sight of the SS in here if they want to brave the heavy howitzer. So next guy. All those targets. <laughs> inexperienced. It's tempting if that KV-2 wasn't there. <laughs> Soviet dice. Start again. Squad that was in the tall grass there has now just uh, booked it up there behind the church and the stone wall. Uh, next, uh, next guy. Another Soviet yeah. guy. All right, he was already having a hard time figuring out what to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now he's gonna have a double hard time. Uh. The squad has advanced up to the fence. They have five rifles in the squad, which means he's gonna take. Five shots at the truck. Uh, move long range, no cover. Need the fives. Nothing. Nada. Wow. I burned out all my luck in the first. Not a damn thing. But I burned out all my luck with a sniper. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, it was a hell of a shot. <laughs> it was a good shot. You crippled Andre's mortar. You were worried about that mortar. <laughs> <laughs> he was. All right, go. next guy. Germans. Hey, German. Something German. Andre's truck has advanced, and he is going to fire at these guys in the open. So, in fours. I see three, three hits, sixes, <laughs> three sixes. That's three, three hits. Three, no matter what hits. And they're regulars. All right. So needing fours. Uh, you got one, 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 one possible two. Nope. No. Just one dead and a pin on these boys here. Okay. Yeah. So that's it for the truck. Next die. Germans. Hey. Germans again. Hey. There's guys in the truck there. They want to get out and shoot something, guys. I think. Yo, boys. Maybe. What do you say we uh, <laughs> pop out here and uh, do some damage? So this uh, squad of SS has gotten out of the truck. They've kind of arced themselves around here. And they're within nine of these guys. So it's going to be eight. Eight assault rifle shots at threes With and blue. the blue ones, and then the other ones are fours, the SMGs, and rifles. Yellow. Or yellow. Ooh. Huh. Look at that whiff with the uh, rifles. So the rifles were blue or yellow? Yellow. Okay, we'll count them up. So. Only six hits. <laughs> but uh, I need Not fours. my only six man squad. Okay, uh, I see three dead. 
and another pin. So that's all rifles, right? Yeah. And then one SMG. No, there's one SMG, so. All right, so we'll let them sort this out. Test at uh, minus two, minus seven. Okay, there, you got it. You got it. Seven or less. Good job. Okay, next die. <laughs> I thought Andre was going to wipe that squad out. Yeah, man. They're lucky to be alive. Germans again. Germans again. The Hetzer has advanced up behind this uh, little hut here. He's going to squeak a shot pass through here and he's going to fire at that squad behind the building. Uh, so you needed a five on the main gun because move, soft cover. And a five, so you got one machine gun. Hit. Wow. <laughs> got lucky on that one. So I need a four. It's about time I get a little luck. Yeah, you got one of them. Uh, you got a, a little luck. <laughs> a little, hey, it could little have been luck. a lot worse. Ask the squad that was here. Uh, yeah. Here. <laughs> no kidding. So it's just one dead. In the it's okay. Okay, here we go. Next die. Coming up. Ah, Man. Soviets again. Soviet sniper has gone on ambush in anticipation of this truck doing something, which I don't know if he's going to. With <laughs> <laughs> I think the truck's happy to just sit back there. Well, right. I can actually get behind the uh, orchard. And right now, his troops are blocking him off from driving into the orchard to be able to see me. So I could hide on the back side of the orchard. Yeah, he's got to brave a sniper ambush. All right, next day. Soviets again. Yeah. Okay. Maxim machine gun has uh, just advanced over to the other side of the grass just to help out over here with these uh, all these SS that are entering the village. So next die. KB2 is going to have to move up. Uh, another Soviet die. So the KB2 has advanced up and he's going to have a line of sight <laughs> to this light howitzer. He's needing a five. That's a Kaboom. Very crafty line of sight. That's an Andre move. Let's go. Oh, he uh, got it. Ah. <laughs> Freaking did it. Boom. All right. And it's so, uh, a four inch template. <laughs> I think okay. you get all three of them. How many did he get? I think he's pretty sure he got all three. So you roll three dice because you got all three guys. All right. Okay. So anything but here. And I'm going for, are they experienced or what? They're a veteran, but you're plus matter. four. So. Okay. Oh, yeah. They got one butt. So one Liz, uh, D6 pins, though. Five pins. So you got to do a uh, five pin. Uh, hmm. <laughs> the old five pin morale test. There. How hard could it be? Pretty tough. Yeah, they, he doesn't want to stick around. Yes, finally. So. Got something. Yes, that so Ryan, Ryan's taking out the SS Howitzer. I'm saluting these guys right now. Hero of the okay, motherland. Yes, hero of the, the Soviet Union. Yeah, pull out oh. Soviet, our German dice out. And oh, give right, it to right, Andre right. For uh, casualties. Or you just keep it. A little or, tombstone, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put it on a necklace around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that the first time this tank's killed anything? Uh, yeah, ever. Nice, nice. In any game. All right. And we have it filming for posterity, so. All right, next time. Now he's got a, now he's got a bloodlust. He's going after. He's coming in, no one's stopping him. That's right. <laughs> except for the two, except Germans. for the two Panzerfaust in this truck. I'm getting right. too cocky though. I need to. Yeah. Kind of Don't get cocky, man. Don't get got cocky. Got too excited there. All right then, Andre's uh, Andre's dice. So this squad here, the regular Grenadiers, have advanced. Careful to stay out of line of sight of the KV2. And he's going to fire at the Maxim. Moved long range, soft cover. That's sixes, right? Yeah, yeah. moved wrong range. Yep. So uh, two, two hits. Two hits. So a pin on the Maxim. And one dead. So one dead and a pin on the Maxim. Okay. So that's it for the Maxim. He's got two guys left in a pin, so next die. Another Soviet die. Soviet AT rifle is just run up here next to the KV-2. Next die. Germans. Germans. German. German, or the uh, Andre's German mortar has just advanced towards the fence, ready to leap over. Out of line of sight of the KV-2, though. What? <laughs> I think. I want to see Andre took that into consideration before he moved. <laughs> Germans uh, again. Germans again. So the truck, Andre has... We debated. 
he was going to drive up there. There was also some talk of him driving around and maybe getting out and trying to take out the KV-2. But if he missed, or if he hit and didn't kill it, then he's just standing out here. So Well, I'm still just standing out there. It's, but he's half. He's got some light cover. <laughs> so he's hauled ass across the road, through the fence, getting some cover from the orchard for now. And but he did have the uh, Ryan had this sniper on ambush. So go ahead, take your shot. Need a three. So I've got the spotter has a rifle as well. No, you're just firing. He's just a spotter. Right? Okay. Yeah. So just one sniper shot, and you have to take uh, it when on, he's 12 on. inches is this away. This the game where you got to have a 12 inch. Yeah, but he can do it anywhere, so he can ah, do it when okay. he's back here. Right here. Yep. Needing the three. He got Whoa. it. Okay, needing the six now though. Man, what sniper. a sniper! He was able to shoot a truck. <laughs> the, the yeah, he might have shot sniper. the driver. Yeah. Oh, oh my he God. got it! <laughs> <laughs> the sniper. Okay, so the sniper from hell. So you actually hit him back here. Yep, twelve inches away. Good so Lord. anywhere between here and there. Okay, so he's got a hit on the truck. He's got it. So I think you're rolling the damage table now. So on a 4 plus it's destroyed. Let's we'll see, does he shoot the gas tank or does he shoot the driver? And it's an open top. Uh, is that no. F1? No, no, it's not open. It's soft skin, so it's. Oh, okay. Uh, I wasn't sure because it's got the guys in the back with the open. Yeah, it's, but it's considered soft a soft skin skinner. Better. Yeah, you're better uh, off okay. with soft skin. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, one. roll a d6. <clears throat> oh, he what? destroyed the truck. The truck block. destroyed. Took it out. <laughs> yeah, he. Uh, Caused a fire or something. So D6 hits on the guys. So there's a squad inside, so roll D6 for them. Jeez Louise. Let's see. That didn't work out. Oh my god. Six hits on the SS squad. And your officer's in there too, so let's see what he gets. <laughs> so yeah. Two hits. Jeez, we only go up to the What kind of, of dice guys. are you guys giving me here? Man? Yeah, it's maybe I'll get These... those back and give you some different ones. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Andre, so it's uh so the truck is destroyed, yep. and the guys inside are going to take a pin, and they're going to... So six six dice for the SS. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, so just roll them in here. Eight and fives. Whoa. So three of them are down. Two, three, Check yeah. the two. Yeah, re-roll those sixes. Might have, might have been someone important. The way it's going now, I have a feeling it might be. No. Or not. So three dead SS guys, and then uh, roll the two for the officer. One one dead in the officer team. Wow, okay. That was pretty epic, so we'll sort it out. Okay. So in the end, uh, the truck was destroyed by the sniper who's doing really well. Magic bullets. Best sniper we've probably ever seen in the Nerd Cave. <laughs> Normal air snipers don't do anything. Uh, so yeah, he shot the truck, blew it up, killed three SS, killed the other guy from the officer, but he's a fanatic, so he's still here, didn't have to take a test. Then they're both down, in, and they got out inside the woods here. No. Behind, behind the, woods? the woods? Behind the woods. So they're out of line of sight. But their uh, attempt to rush across the table did not end well. So next die. Okay. And it was a Soviet die? It's all against the rest of them are Soviets. All Soviets, all right. A Soviet mortar via the spotter in the church. Gonna try and drop one on this SS squad here, needing a six. Which I have a feeling you might get. <laughs> Don't say that. No, no, no. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, come on, after the sniper shot, <laughs> uh, how hard could it be? Pretty hard. <laughs> Is it done? <laughs> Damn it. Hey, you see that mortar shell? Yeah. <laughs> The one that went three foot and went... <laughs> it's, just, it's just confetti. So that was one of his three dice. The Soviet officer, uh, he just decided to run back here behind this shed. And then with the last dice, the Soviet airborne squad ran up here into the grass towards that middle objective. And that's it for that turn. So move on to turn three. At right, top of three, here we go. Soviets. Soviets. These guys here... <laughs> Uh, the guys that were there by the church, uh, they've done the advance to the rear, and they're back <laughs> here now. They passed their order down to one pin, so next day. Yeah. So they're holding the objective. Yeah, that counts, right? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. The guy's got to be within three inches of it. That's what I thought. Germans. Okay. So the SS squad has charged these guys. They're going to do hand-to-hand -hand combat. 
Andre's got five tough fighting fanatical veteran SS with four non-tough fighting fanatical veteran SS. And then the Soviets have, what, three SMGs and then a bunch of rifles. So, Andre, you go first since you're attacking. Roar! Oh, damn. One, two, three, four dead right off the bat. and then Oh, fours are kills? Yeah, because he's regular. Whew. Okay. And then which one were the tough fighters? Um, the... The yellow? The yellows, right? Yep. So three re-rolls? Yep, so four plus... Two. Two more, so and six. Then do the sixes count or not yet? No, not in close combat. Okay, so that's a total of five? A total of six. So he's killed six of you, but you go simultaneous since he's attacking you through the fence. So go ahead and fight back. Same spot or you want to do it? Same spot. You need fives. Jeez. <laughs> so you got one. one. And not a tough fighter. <laughs> okay, so you lost. So Andre lost one dude, and the Soviets have been obliterated, wiped out, and run off the board. All right, after the uh, combat, Andre has got a five inch consolidation, and he's moved into the uh, walls of the church there, so he's in hard cover now. Next day. So he's ready to make a little push towards that center objective. Germans. Germans. And Andre has uh, ran across the road there, out of line of sight of the KV. KV could see about right through here, and he made it across. So they're over there by the church now, so next die. So Andre is surrounding the church. And that, we uh, captured the church. The spotter must Germans be again. scared. So yeah, that, no kidding. German it's dice. Only, right? Yep. So the Hetzer has turned. He's driven up to the wall. He's got a 360 machine gun on top. So he's going to fire over there at the uh, the Vicar, or Maxim, needing sixes. Yep. Nada. Next die. Next dice is... Me. Soviet. Soviet. Maxim is going to fire at the SS who are in hardcover. So uh, five shots, needing fives. Nothing. Nothing. Oh my gosh. Nothing but a lot of noise, all right. Yeah. <laughs> you had a jam, sir. Next day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Soviets so again. again. So the uh, Soviet Airborne Squad is kind of shuffled over a little bit, and they're going to fire at the SS Squad. Needing sixes, though. So it's all said and done. There's a lot of SMGs in there. Yeah, you got some sixes. One, two, four sixes. Three, Damn. Four sixes. Not bad. Not bad. So those are going to be needing fives. Uh, needing fives. Ooh, three of them down. Seriously. Wow. And then roll that six again. That was a hell of a shot. Five, six. Three dead, though. Man. Three dead SS. Okay, so uh, lost a couple SS. A lot of fighting, heavy fighting over here in this little area. I know Andre's plan. He's going for this one, and he's going for that one. He's giving up on this one, although he says he's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for all three. He's going for all three. Damn the KB2. All right, next die. Andre's got one Panzerfaust over here. He's got one crack at it. Germans. The truck has just crashed through the fence there, and these guys are within four inches of the... Fence, so he's going to fire his medium machine gun from the truck at the airborne. Needing fives. One hit. One hit. It's a pin, though. Just it's a pin. Nothing but a pin, as we say. All right, next die. Next dice is... Germans again. Germans again. Andre's dice, he just moved the mortar over this way, closer to the objective. So next die. Soviets. Soviets. So he's put his Soviet sniper onto ambush to stop Andre's mortar from making a, a bum rush on the objective at the end. And which is a good call. And just to pick out anybody else I see. And anyone that comes in in front of you, which no one is going to be stupid enough to do at this point. He owns this orchard. He owns this half of the table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another Soviet dice. Other Soviet. The Soviet lieutenant 
He has run into the building, and he will destroy the truck at the end of this turn, because Andre's done on this side. So he will be closer to the truck. Unless I use an interrupt. And he's going to use it. Doesn't happen interrupt. until the end of the turn. Yeah, okay. end of the turn. Got it. He'll be we gone. used to do that as soon as it He'll occurred, and that was really nasty. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it was impossible to stop, and then we read the rules a little yeah. better. But the truck's already gone, right? So. Yeah. Okay, next die. Okay. Next dice. Andre's down to the two guy, two units over here, I think. The Soviets. Soviet inexperienced squad has just advanced uh, around in front of the orchard. Didn't run. Uh, next day. So he's got these left and Andre's got these left. Soviets so again. So, uh, we've allowed Ryan to kind of change it from a run to a advance and he's just kind of pulled back a little bit. Uh, to give his sniper room and then he put his AT rifle on ambush for these guys. So next day This has to be one of Andre's Come on Germans, Damn. yes So he's put Lieutenant Vesterman down Okay, Woohoo! now it's one each left to that see was, what happens here. That was exciting Let's see Let's see if this is the Germans. It is the Germans. The rest of my guys go down. All right, so they're going down Figured that was going to happen. All right, and then the, the last thing is the KV-1, right? Oh, what is oh there's two more. Oh, two Mortars more. as well. Oh, you haven't fired your mortar yet? Not yet. Oh, nice. Let's see which dice oh, you I guess I'm going to shake them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It's a Soviet dice. That have it, yeah. Okay. All right. Woo! All right, mortar on the SS. Needs a six again. Here we go. Come on, Come on baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, I think I saw it for a brief second there, and then hit uh, the mortar right. dice. <laughs> All right, the last thing is going to be the KV-2. KV-1 has plowed through that little chunk of fence there, turned his turret to the left, and he can see that squad, barely. He can see like this back row of guys here. That's all he needs to see. That's all you need to see. So it's uh, moved, is that, that's probably long range, right? No. Oh, let me check the range <laughs> on see. this thing. He's going to fire indirect, is that uh, going to be a six? So here we go, four inch template. Oh, he missed. Bummer. Okay, and that'll do it for that turn. He didn't miss. He it just, just didn't actually hit anybody. <laughs> yeah, they landed there with a loud nice. bang. So we'll move on to the next turn. Four, here we go. Andre's getting a nice side shot with his Panzerfaust. Oh boy. Why he's did got you say the that? he's got the first die, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's what he's gonna do first. So we'll figure it out. Andre, uh, first thing he did, Hetzer came through the wall. Make sure to stay behind the trees here for the KV-2. <laughs> He's going to fire his uh, main gun and the machine gun at the airborne. Needing the five and sixes for the machine gun. Yeah! Oh, that's a hit. He didn't go down. And two machine gun hits. Two machine gun hits and the main gun. Oh, man. That's a two-inch template. Five. He can get five with a two-inch template. So it's a plus two. So uh, anything but... No buts. Five dead, and then oh. even two machine guns. So, seven dead? Jeez. Yeah, wow. What Ouch. a shot. That was a... That Hetzer, okay. Hetzer. I got my MVP. <laughs> yeah. I think we know who the MVP of the Germans no, is. He's wiped out almost two squads. Uh, two pins. Pin. Oh. Two more pins. So, he's got a... You had one already, right? Yeah. yeah. So, he's up to three. So, a three-pin morale test real quick. Okay. Uh, he passes. Whew. Just. <laughs> <laughs> How many guys are at uh, seven? At the seven? Yep. God. Yeah, seven dead. So that's going to leave you with what, two? Yeah. So you're keeping your NCO and uh, another submachine yeah, gun? Yeah, it's two SMGs. Yeah. All right. That was a brutal, brutal shot by the Hetzer. So next die. A lot less Soviets over here now. Germans again. Oh. He's had his uh, SS squad. He's going to charge the airborne. So they're going to get four shots of defensive fire, but needs sevens. Nothing. No, no chance. Nope. Then Andre's got his what? Uh, one, two, four tough fighters and one non-tough fighter. Needing fours. He's only got two guys left, so they're dead. Um. They are in cover, so he will get to fight back. Two shots again? Two. Two, two shots. Two, yeah, oh, yeah, two, two guys. 
Even fives. Nothing? Nothing. Okay, so they're wiped out, and Andre gets a D6 consolidation. Ooh, the big six. Where's he gonna go? Andre, he just consolidated in between the buildings, staying an inch away from that machine gun, which he can do. So the next day. Turns again. Oh, <laughs> Andre's gonna make his move here on the uh, KV-2. Private Lucky, manning the Panzerfaust. Can you get within point blank? Yeah. Oh yeah. Sweet. So the SS squad has moved up. Private Lucky, point blank, needing a three. Come on, Lucky. No, oh, oh, Lucky misses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you lost your nickname. <laughs> Or was it an ironic? Were they calling him that ironic? Did, did they ever tell you the story, <laughs> sir, about why they call me Lucky? <laughs> I guess we just never issued you the Panzerfaust if I knew the story. Okay, and then I got a bunch of shots. He'll uh, split fire. You're going to shoot yeah. the uh, AT rifle, okay? So assault rifles would be eight of them. Uh, needing fives, and then you're going to have... You took all your rifles out, right? Yeah. yeah. And then six is for the SMG. Actually, it's sixes for everybody, so. <laughs> so just 10 shots? Yep. Yeah, yeah 10, 10 shots. shots. Needing sixes, though. Team. You got one. Why sixes? Long range, small team. That's move. fives, right? And movement. Oh, no move penalty. No movement yeah, penalty. Right. Yeah, and they're. Oh. Up. Yeah, so fives. So four hits. Four hits. So needing fours to take to take down the team. I see one five. What's that over there by the truck? It's a four, a five, or a six. <laughs> I can't even see what it is. Whatever it is, it counts. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I, that's a not a re-roll. No, it's. Well, didn't you already get two other hits? No. no. Oh, one. All right, re-roll it just for. You'll get it because the gods no. love you. No, only no. one dies, but you do have to take a one pin morale test. Needing a, what, an eight? Needing an eight. Ooh. Oh no, they fail. So the AT rifle will run off the board. Bummer. That Full is a dice. bummer. But the KV-2 lives. Yeah. Which is not good for that SS squad. All right, uh, next die. Soviets. Soviets. KV-2 has uh, advanced out a little bit. He's going to need five on that squad over there, the Grenadier squad. He's going to fire his rear machine gun into the SS, so what do you want to do first? He's... Oh, all right. He's all go for it then. Fire! Fire the cannon! Oh, he missed oh. with the cannon! Oh. And two, with the... two hits with the machine gun on the SS, mm -hmm. so needing fives on those. Oh my god. No. Insane. Just, I don't even take a pin for that, that right? A, yeah. <laughs> that was a backfire, literally. From okay. behind. Alright, so nothing. One pin on the SS, and then next die. Germans. Germans. Uh, Lieutenant Vesterman is just moving up here between the wreck and the fence. Next die. Soviets. Alright, what do you got left? Your sniper, <laughs> sniper, and your inexperienced squad, and my officer, and, and my mortar, gun. and my machine gun. Why did I think you didn't have anything left? I don't know. I don't know. I got like five. <laughs> a lot of stuff left. All right, then. <laughs> Next up, the Soviet inexperienced squad is going to fire at these guys in the woods here. So inexperienced and soft cover, needing a five, five, so twelve, right? I see one, two, one, two, two, two hits. So another pin there. Uh oh. And then, uh, fives and up, right? Eating fives. Oh my gosh. Nothing but a pin. Again. Sucks. <laughs> again. Okay. <laughs> Nothing but a pin again. Yeah, next guy. Next guy. Soviets again. He's going to try to pass an order with his machine gun. He does. And he is oh, going to. This. What were you going to do? Fire. He was going to fire at the SS right in front of him. Yep. So point blank, but soft cover. Hold on. Hidden threes. 
two hits. two hits. Can I add these up and make a three? <laughs> you allow? can. We've you got to made a four. <laughs> <laughs> we still need it. All right. Still got a hit. One dead. Oh. One dead and a pin. Nice. So Man. he's a pin on the SS squad, Bill. Something. All right, next die. Gonna be what's gonna be. Soviets. Again. The guys, the officer in the building has gone on ambush. For these guys. Next day. Germans. Turns. German mortars uh, went down. Next day. Germans again. Okay, so this is the this is the uh, squad over here that's going to have to do something. Okay, so this squad uh, they started moving back towards this objective, and the officer, three guys with rifles, hardcover from the wall, uh, but within twelve, so fives. Two, two hits this time. And those guys are only regular, so just needing fours. And one, one kill. One kill. And then Andre will return fire. So uh, these guys up here are needing fives, and these three rifles I can see back there are needing sixes. Hmm. So I see one hit. A hit. <laughs> he hit. It's a hit. So he'll get this one pin, and then they're regular, so we need a four. Oof. Nothing but a pin. That's close. Wow. And then is there anything left in the bag? Yeah, there's two Soviets left. Two Soviet dice. So the Soviet sniper is going to fire at the SS. No, three. They're always hitting on threes. Oh, right. That's right. So just needing a three. Oh, it's another. Hey, what do you know? The Soviet sniper mm -hmm. hit. That's what he, he does. five okay. to kill. That's five. what he does. Can he possibly get If another? he gets a five, four guys go down. Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing but a pin. Yeah. He hits a... Uh, the pan, well, the Panzerfaust already fired. He hits a grenade on somebody's belt and it goes off and takes out a yeah. uh, three inch template. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Bollywood action movie with this guy. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the last thing that Ryan has is the, uh, the guys over there in between the fence and the house. These guys uh, popped around the corner. They're going to fire. So the SMGs. SMGs are blue. Yeah, pathetic. That was bad. But another pin, and a dead, and he gets to re-roll that. No. Nope. So a dead, another dead SS guy, and another pin. We'll do it. So we're gonna move on to turn five. Andre has sort of lost board control over here. He's got three SS guys left. There's three regular guys, two machine gunners, and then the grenadier squads happen to play, happen to go back to that objective or go to this objective. They don't know which way to go. And move on to turn five. Die of turn five. This is a good one. Oh, I forgot one. Oh, yeah. Don't forget any dice. I think we got all the I dice. I was missing one. There you go. Okay. Right. Okay. Come on, Soviets. No, it's the Germans. Germans. First die, Andre. This squad. Pass the two-pin order to assault those guys. So I'm not fanatic enough. I gotta still got to pass an order to assault. You don't have up and out. Uh... Oh, I saw a six too. He just made it. Dang it. He needed an eight. And he got it. So he's going to assault those guys. What we got here, Andre? That's three three tough fighters in the open. Uh, he got two, two of them. And the other did. Two more. They're toast. So he's wiped that squad out. Consolidation. Three inch consolidations. Three inch. The SS, they've consolidated back here. And next die. So, is that what you were expecting? I mean, my I first day? Wasn't surprised. Soviets. Soviets. AV2 is going to do the same thing, but not move this time. So, he's going to fire back here, needing fours. And then he's going to fire, I think you're still long range, Probably. over 36. Yeah. So, you need enough. Four over there, I'm pretty sure. So here we go. The blue is the come on the cannon. No, the Gosh. cannon missed. But I got one, two, three hits with the three machine hits on gun. those guys. Can't even fives. Oh my gosh. Yes. Ouch. That's a five. You add them all together. Yeah, that's true. Another pin. So what are you up to? Three. I'm only on to four. Four pins. Not bad. Next die. Okay. It's been a while since we pinned somebody out. Yeah. 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 I don't see that happening. 
Germans. Germans. So, uh, these guys, they just rearranged, uh, moved back towards the objective, and they are going to fire at the officer. Five to sixes. What was what here? Oh, the machine gun was the blue dice. Five shots. So you and got one hit. fives, and then, wow, okay. One hit. So a pin on the officer. Yeah. So he's up to two, though. Wow. And see if you can take one of them down. Nope. nope. Just a pin. Nothing Ooh. but a pin. All right, next day. Soviets. Soviets. Soviet mortar. On to those guys. Needing a, hoping for a miracle. Oh, got I it. believe in miracles. Nice. Got it. So it's plus two. So they need three, so they're veterans. Oh, man. Oh, three, three. Wow. He's, he's destroyed. He's killed off that oh, squad. wow. So now you just need to pass an order with your machine gun. Well, he still has <laughs> Yeah, the headster might have a little something to say about that. Yeah. <laughs> but hey. He can't claim that objective now. That's true. Uh, he's yeah. He, it's impossible for him to claim that one at this point. All right, yeah. next guy. And all you got to do is move to the back of that building. Soviets. There you go. So maybe now is a good time to pass the order and just. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> if you can pass it, you got an order check though. You got a. Oh right, right, right. How many Sorry. pins do they have? Uh, one. Just one. Just yeah. one. Don't fail. Should I do right here? Yep. <laughs> Don't fail. Don't fail. No this pressure. One. Oh! oh! That is the worst of all. All outcomes. Now I gotta roll for a foobar, right? Or that is That's a foobar. That's a foobar, yeah. but. So, what's the foobar chart thing? Gotta roll. You're roll. I think you're just. Yeah. Yeah, it's, we'll check you're probably gonna. Pull a 1d6. It's a 1d6. One. Oh, yeah. One, oh, yeah. Okay. I think you're just gonna fall back, yeah. So you just fall. I think you run back. That machine gun wound up way back there, which is sad, because he could have been claiming the objective out of line of sight. Sadly, he foobarred, and now he's, uh, well, he's way the hell over there. So next guy. So it's again. again. So you got your inexperienced squad, you got your officer, your sniper, one of those. Soviet officer failed the two-pin order. He's went down in the building. So it's, yeah. Soviets again. Not looking good for the Soviets all of a sudden. He's down to his inexperienced squad and his sniper. The inexperienced squad has uh, advanced over the fence, and they're going to fire. A lot of those guys are probably point blank. We'll figure that out. It's going to be point blank. But you advanced. You're inexperienced. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm confused. Advanced, inexperienced. Soft cover. Point blank. So you're back to fives? Is that it? Yeah. That doesn't sound right. Point blank, so yeah. Okay, fives and sixes. <laughs> it seems pretty crazy to be advanced. I don't know. Fives and sixes. Here's a five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, this six. guy was a six. These guys were fives. Yeah, the one. That's the one guy that wasn't point blank. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. So we'll count them. Shoot. Up. Okay. Six hits needing fives. That's quite the shots. This could hurt. Needing fives. Got two. Ooh. Two. Then roll that six again. Oh yeah. Oops. Oh. Yeah, roll it. Reroll it. Reroll as a fall. <laughs> Travis Gosh, really it wants it. It's a two. It's a two, yeah. So two dead though. Yeah. And another pin. So he's up to five pins. And he's gonna be down. He's oh, this be is a separate there. unit. Right? No, this is all the same unit. But this guy too, Mr. Lucky here? Yep. Okay. Oh he could take Lucky out. Actually. He's not so lucky. <laughs> He's ironically lucky. All right, next die. Okay, next dice is... And then I'm up to five. Up to five pins. Germans. Germans. Okay, here we go. Rowling in the SS squad. He passes. Wow. So it's going to be one minus just past two. Wow. So he's down to what, three? So Or two. He's down to two pins. So he's down to two pins. Barely passed the rally. Didn't even clear all the pins. Soviets. Soviets. Okay, now it's time to. Or what do you got left here? My sniper. Yeah, put him on ambush. I mean, then if that. That's true. Order yep. comes out. Ambush it is. Kaboom. And then right. yeah, three. Next day, and they're all Germans. Yeah. So he's got the Hetzer. Oh, he's got Vesterman still in here. What happened to your officer? Oh, that's right. He's over here now. 
And then, uh, what was his third one? Oh, the mortar. So Andre's had the, uh, they would still blow it up. He's somehow. had the Hetzer <laughs> peek around the corner there. Luckily, his gun is offset on the left side there, looking at it. And he's going to fire at the inexperienced squad. So ready? Needing the five. Ah, that's a one. That is that's not a shame. It. All right, so that's one of Andre's three. He's had his sniper just run around, and then last thing he's going to have is Vesterman over here. So snipers. More than four, or the More mortars four, four, four inches. So Vesterman is going to do something. Vesterman just hopped over. Could not quite get line of sight through there. So move on to turn six, the last turn. All right, last turn, Soviet six dice, Germans five. Here comes the all important first dice is the Soviets. And I have the KV-2 is going to, again, rear fire on the SS. They are in the woods. We just kind of cleared around them to get some line of sight. Uh, and then he's gonna, but this time he's gonna take a, f a shot at the Hetzer. So it's gonna be soft cover for the Hetzer and soft cover for everybody. So fours. Uh, one machine gun hit. Oh so he's up to three pins again. Maybe you can take another one out. Okay, let's see. Nope. Nope, can't. Okay. That blows. Three pins on the SS squad, no hit on the pin and the Hetzer next day. Soviets again, all right. Okay, he's making his move on the objective right now with the inexperienced squad. They've squeaked through this gap. Six of them are gonna get within range of Vesterman. So it's gonna be moved, soft cover, small team. So fives again. One. One hit. Oh boy. <laughs> you gotta get a five here. Otherwise, you're pretty much done. Oh, he got him. He got Vesterman. He's dead. Oh, man. Okay, so Andre loses a die out of the bag for that. Let's put it over here. Okay, next day. Germans. The Hetzer is kind of peeking around that tree there. He's going to see if he can land it. No! No again. Next die. Next die is... Russian, or Soviets. Soviets. Yeah. <laughs> the Maxim failed them in order uh, again. Uh, At least he didn't foobar this time. Yeah, well, yeah, it could always be worse, I guess, huh? At least he's Oh, yeah, okay, next die. Sorry, in my frustration, I forgot to grab another dice. It's me. Another dice. Order again is going to fire. Last time. He's going to fire there. You the ranged time. in. Let's go. In the five. Got a five. No, he's ranged in over there. Who was he shooting at? He was shooting at the three guy. Oh yeah, three bodies oh, right yeah. there. Well, no, you missed. Okay. He was ranged in over there. Well, there you go. It's That's from the. Uh... Well, it's from the mortar now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Next guy. laughs> and Germans. Germans. So it's going to be long range, soft cover, so fives, fives and sixes again. Hey. Ouch. That's way better. So you got one with the machine gun and uh, two with the machine gun. Fives yeah. with the machine gun yeah. Yeah. and two with the... So four hits this time on the inexperienced Soviet officer. These are fours. There's three of them in These there. There's three dudes. They're not a small team. Oh, you got two. two. Maybe it's the officer, no. no. But it is a morale test at minus three. But plus one for the officer. So minus two again. He one, passes. Six, six, seven, eight, yep. Yep, he passes. But he is up to three pins now. So next die. The dice are almost at an end here. Someone's going to have to make a move. Plus the move. Soviet die. Um, He's essentially lost the game at this point. We just figured, but uh, unless he's well, pulling maybe. a miracle, <laughs> does he have some kind of Travis Andre? is calling it, but he's yeah. Uh, I'm gonna run with this guy towards here. Okay, you gotta just pass that order. Here. Yep, yep. He'll never make it. Hey, don't say that. It's a 48 inch <laughs> run. <laughs> so I gotta get a. Uh, it's you got a commissar behind him. What is it? Uh, Ten minus three. You Seven? need to get a no a nine minus three. Nine minus three, so yeah. sixes. Either six or less. Snake eyes. Ooh, he does four. get it, so he's gonna get down to two. He's gonna get a run out of the building. 
Can you get within three inches? No, I cannot. But I'll get close. Okay, close. All right. Next die. Actually, yeah, next die. Me again. And that's your sniper. He goes on ambush. So you know what? There could technically be another turn if we roll a four plus. So, uh, what? <laughs> I would be playing this totally different if we were rolling for a sixth, seventh turn. What are you going to do different? I would have wasted his officer by putting those guys on ambush. Oh, all right, we'll forget it then. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's nothing like the more guys that I have closer to it or anything mm, like that? No, and okay. you can't do anything. All right. I'll you can't even get over the fence. That's true. I'm just locked in my little playpen. So, um... All right, then. Yeah, ambush. Which will do nothing. Yeah. Because he's blocked by line of sight through here. Yeah, and the last ice is Andre's. Which is going to be his mortar. I believe. Who's right, going to so. move up to right there. And that's within three inches. Woohoo! And within more than an inch. And no line of sight for the sniper. So that'll be game, I think. So we'll come back and wrap it up. All right, wrapping it up. So Andre won. He has one objective. Wait, are you within three of that, Andre? I don't see anyone in there. Oh, Hans. Okay, Hans is within three. <laughs> so Hans is claiming that one. And really, that's it. Andre's got one. Um, we couldn't... Uh, dang. Everybody flood the center this, of the this, board. Yeah, that... that that lost the, me in the game. The machine gun, machine gun. Foo bar really screwed you. Because, yeah, you would have been back here hidden within mm -hmm. three. I'd have had to try to get the... Actually, it would have been a draw. Well, unless I could have routed... Oh, the, the, the Hetzer could have just Hetzer. drove up. Yeah. But that's that wasn't a given. It's a road, though. Yeah. <laughs> you could have moved double on the road. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Andre won one, one objective. This one's contested by the motor. That's all he did the whole game. He never fired the motor once. <laughs> I just, he, he knew he was just going to win the game. Yeah. That is, he didn't yeah. have to fire a shot to be the... He uh, knew what he was doing the whole the game. The most pathetic soldiers just waltz their way out from behind the farmhouse. To <laughs> yeah, to that's, yeah. Yeah. that's how uh, bold action ends a lot. <laughs> good, yeah. Is a uh, mortar team claiming the the winning objective. That's, yeah, so it turned out to be a great game. Uh, Germans won, but uh, yeah, the KB1 did good. Well, K2. KB2 did okay. He killed the, the howitzer. I think the Hetzer did a lot better than the oh. KB2, though. He took out two squads yeah. by himself. No, that was amazing. Was, that was, yeah, that MVP, was MVP, Hetzer. He was so well camouflaged, Andre forgot he even had it on the table. <laughs> so. it, I mean, literally. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't see it. <laughs> it was really blended in with these bushes here. It was, uh, yeah, it was back in like that and just... Yeah, it, uh, it just went into that grove of trees, and I didn't even. It's <laughs> like, what else have I got? Yeah, it's crazy too. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, it was a good game. So thanks to Ryan for coming out for his first game. Thank you. And Andre, of course, for coming again. And uh, good time. Yeah, it's a long game, but it went. It was a good game. It was a fun game. So yeah, it's definitely worth it. And yeah. So uh, yeah, we're gonna keep this wrap up short tonight. So let us know what you guys think of this game. And as usual, check out our Patreon page. Check out our all of our other social media stuff. Oh, and Ryan's got an Instagram as well. So we'll put a link to that in our description. So make sure you check out his stuff as well. Uh, he does a lot of uh, terrain building and stuff. So. Yep. And if you guys need any custom builds, send them. Send requests my way. Yeah. Maybe I got some custom builds I want. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got so much terrain, I don't even know what to do with it all. I got more coming. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, that's it. So again, thanks to Ryan for his first game here. It's a lot of fun. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, so that's it. We'll catch you guys next time.